Earlier today, we talked to the director and one of the cast members of Kursk, the real-life submarine drama, the uh, Russian submarine Kursk, wound up after a torpedo exploded, an experimental torpedo blew up the bow of that submarine, and the sailors were trapped, many of them killed, but over 20 were trapped aft in the submarine and uh, were trapped there for several days. Now, he explores the drama in the bottom of the Barents Sea, the drama with the families and home, and the drama with the rescue crews, but we also talked about the paralysis of the Russian government that did nothing for five days, refusing to accept international help until it was too late as the world gasped and the crew inside the submarine clanged and clanged and clanged. Tapping. Tapping, right. And nothing being done. Right. Yeah. Horrible. It's a very, very um, interesting, dark, complex dilemma, right? They have 23 people in their finest submarine full of naval secrets. secrets. This is a, um, a nation that lost 250,000 soldiers in Stalingrad. What are they going to do? What's most important? And, uh, well, obviously they made the decision that we wouldn't have. But it, for me, that's a very interesting and, um, and horrifying uh, situation um, to dig into. Mm -hmm. You know, she's in the world that, that is outside, I mean, she's part of the world that is outside the submarine, so through her eyes, we, I think that we, yeah, exactly, we feel all the frustration. Mm -hmm. I wanted her to be very um, truthful, and so, yeah, and it was the first time, actually, that I was playing someone who existed for real. That's French actress Leia Seydoux. You may recognize her as a Bond girl. She uh, starred opposite Daniel Craig in Spectre. And uh, she is uh, playing a Russian uh, sailor's widow in Kursk. 